And my goal working there was to own my own plumbing company by the time I was 35. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. And I actually beat that. I beat that by... Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 379th episode of Potty Talk, and we have a fun episode here. We have Mr. Brandon Leslie. He is the founder and owner of BNR Mechanical out of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. All right. Hey, a very fun interview. I know. You know, I I, I want you to to meet this this young man Mm -hmm. um, just because of his attitude. Yes, his mindset. Right, his mindset and where he's at. Mm -hmm. Now, he's in the midst of what we call the championship rounds, getting it done, Mm -hmm. but his attitude. Yes. Uh, is, is what makes him a winner and is going to make him a big winner. Absolutely. So listen up for that, guys. Um, if you're a, Also, if you are a, um, a plumber who's thinking about starting a business, right? Should I? Should I not? Should I go out on my own? This is an interview for you. So um, give it a listen. But in the meantime, please follow us out on social media. We are out on all the social media channels. Um, so give us a follow. If you're lis- And also, if you're listening on you know, your favorite podcast player or YouTube or whatever, subscribe. Um, give us a review. You know, that always helps with, with the algorithm, algorithms yes. and things. Give us so a like. All right. Give us a like or okay. so. All right. We'd give us some love. It. Give us some love. All <laughs> yes. right. There we go. Okay. All right. Without further ado, mm-hmm. Mr. Brandon Leslie. All right. Here's Brandon Leslie, man. It's great to have you on the podcast. I've been looking forward to speaking with you. So glad you're here. Definitely. It's nice to be here. All right. Well, well, as I said I, in, in the intro, or whatever, I just, I met this cool cat. I know we, you know, we met at an event, mm-hmm. you, you and your lovely wife, mm-hmm. and I just loved your attitude. Mm-hmm. And, and again, you're, you know, you're, you're a guy, you're, you're a guy's guy and you're, you know, you're a plumber that's in, in what we call the championship rounds. I mean, you're working on the business, you're doing the stuff. And so I just wanted our listeners and our viewers, as, you know, goes out both ways. Mm-hmm. I want them to get a chance to meet and hear from you. Mm-hmm. Because you're in it and and they're going to relate. All right. And again, just love your story, love your attitude. So that's what I'm, that's what I want to have you on here to share. So you ready? Yep. All right, man. So, well, I wanted to hit you up because I love, you know, you, you know, we all kind of just fall into plumbing, but you kind of came into plumbing and had an idea about it. Would you mind sharing your story? How'd you get into plumbing? Well, I'll just say, first of all, I started off, uh, running a restaurant and I was good with customers and people were actually coming to my store just to, just to see me like weekly over the years. I got tired of it. My attitude changed. I was just in a negative place, just being there. And I always told myself, Hey, if you get to this point, cause you know, how you, when you go to a restaurant and you're like, man, this service is terrible. Mm-hmm. You're like, why are you doing this? Like, why are you, this, this isn't the job for you. Like you're not happy. So I told myself, if I ever got to that point, I would leave. So I started looking into the trades and I decided to go back to school for HVAC. And through that process, I I went to school at night, worked on a day in the restaurant. I took a plumbing 101 class as an elective. And it was so interesting to hear about like the aqueducts and how back in in the past, how we moved water. So once I completed that class, I just changed my whole major, went into plumbing. My wife actually, uh, she actually put application in for a plumbing company. I went and got hired, became an apprentice, and it's been off to the races since then. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> and Brandon, I love, you describe why you're a winner, mm-hmm. is because you went uh, and want people to hear this because it was a nugget of gold. Mm-hmm that how you were working another job, but you came unhappy with that, mm-hmm. but you still work on that job. And then you better yourself by going to class at night right. and you worked at night mm-hmm. instead of just going home and hanging out, which we all want to do. Right. I mean, and, it's and it was check just, out at the end of the day, right? Because mm-hmm. you're tired. Cause and especially if you don't like that job that you're working on, right. it, it takes it out of you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you don't have a lot mm-hmm. of energy by the time you're done working, mm-hmm. but then you went from that and you went into class to learn another trade. Right. And I, that's well, what it's I a love. Career too, yes. right? Mm-hmm. And that's what I, I love about mm-hmm. you, and about lo, love about your story. Want wanted people to hear. Mm-hmm. And then you fell in. The, I get that. You know, you fell in love with plumbing. You discovered you love that. You went with HVAC, <laughs> which mm-hmm. I don't know why anyone would go HVAC. <laughs> you know, but I love how you, then you did the, the plumbing class, mm-hmm. and then uh, yeah, fell in love with plumbing. Why not? Yeah. You know, 
So it sounds like you have a pr- kind of an inquisitive mind, right? So if you if the aqueducts and all that kind of stuff interest you, right? That right. made enough to make you want to move over from HVAC. So is that is that your nature, just kind of being inquisitive, seeing how things work? Yeah, because I've always had like a a builder type personality, and I don't know, it just was just very interesting. I I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Even with plumbing, it's just like it's a puzzle. Every day's a puzzle to me. Like when you get on getting into a job and you look at you look around and you say, okay, how do I get from point A to point B? And for some reason in my head, I can just build it. <laughs> you see it. That's cool. That's the gift mm-hmm. that God yep. gave you. Mm-hmm. You have yep. that. That's how He created you. Mm-hmm. You know, and I love that. Yeah. And so, so now, okay, so you're you're out of the, the restaurant business. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and that that industry, and you're now into plumbing, and you're working for another plumbing company. Mm-hmm. How, and so, how how did you feel working? You know, how how was that? Mm-hmm. You know, so you, you worked your way up, and how was that going for you? Uh, it was different because I was older. I was, I think, I was in my probably, I'll say, yeah, early twenties. So it wasn't like I was super young on the job, but I wasn't super old neither. Mm-hmm. But I just every day, I just I knew in the back of my head. I knew in the back of my head, I wanted to own my own business mm. or businesses. So every day I just, just would learn, man, just learn as much as I can and just soak it in and push and push and push and push. And, and I, my goal working there was to own my own plumbing company by the time I was 35. Oh man. <laughs> but yeah. And I actually beat that. I beat that by, by, by when I turned 20, 32. Oh, so I beat that by two years. And that's how, we're, first of all, a, a couple things there, Brandon, I really love. And again, thanks for being so transparent. Mm-hmm. And, I, and guys, listen up to, to Brandon's story here, mm-hmm. because there's a lot of nuggets of gold here. That while you were working for someone else, first of all, I love that you said, I knew one day I wanted to start my own business. Mm-hmm. And he went to businesses. Businesses, businesses. right. Businesses. <laughs> that's, how, that's how all winners think, man. You, you're, you're killing it. You're going you're gonna to kill it with that attitude. And you had the attitude of, I'm going to learn as much as I can. Right. Okay. You're not mad at this guy working, you know, and I'm just working for the man and doing this and that. I'm no, jealous. I'm jealous. Right. I'm going to learn as much as I can from here. And then I'm doing my own thing mm-hmm. and my own things, you know, and that's, that's how winners think. Right. Exactly. That's you how know? they think. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so, so you're working, you know, for another company just with the, the soul, you learning. know, you're learning, mm-hmm. learning Soaking things up. Yeah. Seeing how things work, what's going on, kind of getting a feel for things. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the goal, and I love that you had the goal by 35 right. and isn't it crazy? Look how you beat that. Yes. You beat that. You, you, you set some, Brenda, that's wise because you set something out there like right. a tangible thing, not someday right. I'm going to have a business, right? You set a goal of 35 and yeah. And you, look you at beat you. it. You beat it by three <laughs> years. It. So yes. Okay. So what, yeah. okay. So how did you transition then from being a plumber at, at a company to owning your own business? Was it kind of a longer process or was it you just ripped the bandage off and said, we're doing it. What, what was the process? Yeah. Uh, it was, it was a long, but short process. Uh, my left, once I, once I, it was kind of spontaneous. One night I just, I was just like, you know, I'm ready to just start. It. And it was like, I was January 6, 2018. I'm sitting in my house. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I go and start the LLC and all that stuff. And I just started it. Like, I, uh, I still work in the morning. Day. Yeah, yeah <laughs> online, you just did it. Just did it. Just did it. So basically, I, I would work during the day, and then I would do my business that night. So I got to the point where I ended up buying a small Astro van. Yes. You know, yeah. I bought one of those. So I drive my Astro van to work. And we had van, one of those. <laughs> we, we, we had one of those. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's right. <laughs> I had all my tools. So yep. after, after, cause I work, I work, uh, commercials. So we didn't have vans, you know, we didn't have company vehicles. So I worked during the day at night. I took off my shirt from work, put my shirt from my cell phone and, Found jobs. And did oh, them. wow. That's amazing. Again, guys, listen to here. You yeah. know, Brandon, Brandon, you're preaching here. Mm-hmm. You're preaching and teaching mm-hmm. because you, you right, just what you're doing. You, you know, when you started, you still were working for someone else. Okay. Instead of just then coming home and sitting in front of the TV and doing what we all want to do, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. 
you still had more work to do. You were still scrounging. And in right. fact, it was harder work because you're having to find it and you're working after hours. It's later, it's, it's, it's tougher working at night. It's dark, right? I mean, all those kinds of things. All those things. It, especially if it was, you, you know, if it was winter. Yeah, where do cold, you live, Brandon? Pittsburgh. Uh, oh, Pittsburgh, yeah. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so yeah. it's cold yeah. in the winter. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's night and it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> You've worked all day. That's you're amazing, going, Brandon. Uh, um, yeah, and what a great example for, for your kids as well. So... Um, I mean, of, of hard working. If you've got a goal, right, and then you're going to do the things to to put it in place. You're going to be the you're the one working for it. I'm sure it's you and your wife. Um, you, remind me her name again, Quinisha. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You guys deciding. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> you guys deciding. This is what we're going to do for our family, right? Because I'm I'm sure that she's she's come alongside as well. Does she work in the business at all, or what's her what's her role? Uh, she does work in her business currently, and she she actually works as well. Okay. So she's, oh, she has she's, a job too. She works for, Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. That and so she uh, after hours or whatever, right? Then she um, somebody calls it CEO after hours. Yes. Right. So yeah, working on the business. You guys definitely are already winning, but you're going to win big because yes. this is how it's done. It's yeah. not the process is simple. You probably heard me say this before, Brandon. Yeah. If you're watching, we say this. I'd say it's simple, mm-hmm. but it's not easy. not easy. So the process of starting the company and moving and, and starting doing your own thing. You know, just, we just work here. I work over here, then I work over there. Mm-hmm. That that idea is simple, but it's not easy. It's yeah. a hard thing to do. Yeah. So here, you know, you and your wife are both working. You know, have been working other jobs. She's working another job now, mm-hmm. and then she's working on pro- probably working with the books and marketing and that kind of stuff mm-hmm. with social. with your company now, mm-hmm. doing social and all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, yes. Now, did I when we we spoke before? I think you were. You were by yourself first, it, weren't you? Like it was like B and B, mechanical. Yes. And then it was B and B plumbing first. Okay. It was B and B and B plumbing first, and then uh, I ended up meeting a young plumber who both had the same goals and aspirations, and we transitioned to B and R plumbing, and then now I transitioned back into B and R mechanical. Finding qualified technicians, office staff, and management when you need them can be a lot like looking for a needle in a haystack. That's why there's Work With Your Hands, the home service recruiting experts. Work With Your Hands offers personalized services with guarantees on new hires, fast onboarding, candidate vetting, weekly check-ins, and much more. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash hands. That's hands with a Z. Start building your team today. Okay. Okay. And so you have a partner currently? No, just okay. just my wife, my other half. Oh, good. 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 That's that's well, the, that's, that's the best partner to have. <laughs> We're going to find ourselves doing a little coaching. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and we all do it. We we started with yeah. the same thing. We thought we were going to start out with someone else, and we're like, okay, this is dumb. Yeah, <laughs> we, dumb. luckily we didn't go that. too far with that. Right. Yeah. Um, but the best partner to have is is your wife. That's so, a powerful thing. Yeah. So what was the, the main thing that kind of made you nervous as you decide, okay, I'm going to leave, leave my job and I'm going yeah. full time. I'm going to stop, you know, kind of dabbling. Right. And I'm going to go full time. Mm-hmm. What, you know, what, what was something that you were really nervous about? Just money. I mean, I have a family. You know, at, at right. that point I had two kids, but what, what made it easier for me when I, when I decided when I got to that point where I was decided to totally leave my second, my first job, I sat down and had a conversation with my wife and I said, Hey, I don't know what's going to happen, but I, I can't stay here anymore. I can't do both. I said, I don't know what's going to happen, but I promise you every day I will leave this house and find work and I will not come back until I make money. Wow. And she said, okay, do it. Yeah, that's supportive wife, and that's you spoke, a warrior. Yeah, and you yeah. spoke to um, what what us wives typically need most of all, which is security. Right? We we need to know that we're our family is going to be secure, our finances are going to be secure, our house, all the things. So you spoke directly to her her um, created need. So good for you as a husband, Brandon, doing right. that. Well, you say this is Brandon. Why I wanted you to share your story, and again, I really appreciate you being on Potty Talk here because I want want others to hear hear your story mm-hmm. because this is the th- the thing of, you know, it's, it's not, it's not easy and just to have the attitude, but you got, you have to burn the ships. Right. I mean, to really be successful. Mm-hmm. Okay. You if I, you, you gotta be all in on the ring mm-hmm. and you, you got, you gotta, you gotta fight every round 
And, you know, you can't be, you know, half in the ring and then playing over here and right. doing whatever. Right. And even, you know, you got to be all in. And so you went all in. Mm -hmm. And I love the ad and with the attitude, that warrior attitude, mm -hmm. I promise I'll go out, I right. will find meat <laughs> and I will bring it, I will come home till I got it. You know, you know, I love that. It's yes. called eat what you kill. Yeah, that's that's right. exactly <laughs> right. right. You know, and you're out getting it done. You well, know? what's something, okay, so that was something you kind of were nervous about, and that makes sense. I mean, right. money's the thing, right? What's something that you knew, I, I do this really well, or yeah. I know in this area I'm going to be successful? Well, like I said before, uh, when I was working at night, working for myself at night, it, it started turning to be my job. My previous job, basically, I would go to work Monday through Friday, work 40 hours, off on the weekends. I was on me working at night and working Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I was making three times my paycheck wow. every week. So I just got it in my head one day. I was like, why am I here? If I can make my, if I can triple my paycheck every in, within three days, why am I here? I could do this full time. Mm -hmm. Right. So that kind of, that's what changed, really changed my focus. Mm -hmm. And it took that being scared, that that fear mentality out of me and said, I can do this. So you bet on yourself. Yes. Right. That's right. And that's the best bet. And that's the bet. That is the best, sure, bet. the best bet. You know, you bet on your family. Yeah. So now yeah. I know that we, we've gotten to know each other because then you, you're, you're part success of the Success Academy, Academy and, <clears throat> and, and that process. And in fact, I think you even do, you uh, do private coaching. Do you do private coaching? Kind of? Yes. 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 But Bo, right? Bo, Bo McKenzie is your coach. Is that right? Yep. All right. So Great point. Guy. Yes. Bo yes. and Kimberly. Mm -hmm. So what, what is something in, in, you know, when you came into to our universe, you know, MDP what, what, universe, MDP universe what, what is something that you learned that surprised you mm -hmm. that, that you, weren't, you weren't expecting? Oh, man, there's so many things. I'll say my biggest takeaway, and this, is, this, this hits home directly with, with watching your videos and going through the courses. <laughs> slowing down like me having to slow down myself because you know we're always fighting to get to that next level and i'm and this realization came within the last couple of weeks that i need to slow down me and make sure i'm properly prepared so when that when that when that when that next step comes i'm ready so i said that's like been my biggest takeaway from going through our, going through the program and going through coaching wow uh, that's why I, I really appreciate you saying that, Brandon, because mm -hmm. that is the key. It's like learning. I like, you know, we kind of been using the fighter. You know, I'll stay with the fighter thing. You know, it's, and the analogy is, is learning the move, learning the defense. Okay. Learning, learning. Okay. I, you know, this is, you know, I get the punch here and I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, over here and then jab and it's getting comfortable with that. So it's learning the move and then getting comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Then I can move on to the next combo. I can do that. And it all built upon each other. And all of a sudden we're doing it second nature, right. you know, mm -hmm. and, and that's the mentality. So, and with winners, and you're definitely a winner, you have that attitude, we want to go all the way. I'm, I'm, re I'm ready, you know, put me in, coach. You know, I, I'm, I'm ready. Put me, I'm ready to fight. Put me in the ring or whatever it is, whatever analogy. Mm -hmm. um, winners think like that. Right. All right. But we have to have these, these foundational things put, you know, put in place first. Sure. So I love the fact that you get that. Brother, man, you, you're going. You're going all the way. Yeah. So I have a question too, and you obviously seem goal oriented because you yeah. set out that you said by 35 I'm going to have my own business, and then and you beat it by three years. So, um, what's a goal that you have right now? Are you still as kind of establishing goals um, that you, you want to be able to hit, or you and your wife, you know, have talked about your why? You know, we talk about your why quite a bit. Um, what's What's next for for Brandon and Quinisha? Well, I'll just give you. I'll give you one of them. My goals for the end of the year: twelve trucks. All right. By when? By the end of the year. By the end Whoa. of this year. <laughs> okay. So where are you at? How many trucks yeah, you have now? What do you got? Well, I, I currently, I have three vehicles available. I got one guy. He starts Monday. Okay. All right. I got two other guys that add potentials. Okay. There we go. So you're, okay. So this is great. Potty right. talk. That, um, here on Potty Talk, we've got somebody who has the dream, burned the ships, um, is just starting out for the most part or, you know, making these, these big changes. Right. And by the end of the year, you've got one big goal, one big goal. Right. Um, and I, I can't imagine you not hitting it. Right. With, with the attitude, right. This attitude and already being in. Mm -hmm. And obviously you've already heard recruit, 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 right? right. <laughs> yes. I was going to, I was already going to say that recruiter and marketer. 
I'm yeah, not a plumber, a recruiter, and a marketer. Exactly well, explain, right. explain, explain, explain to our listeners yeah. or viewers what you mean by that. Yeah, that may not understand when you say recruiter, marketer. Mm-hmm. It's something that Richard has said a few times. You're always, always recruiting, always marketing, always recruiting, always marketing. If your phone's not ringing, you don't got a job to do. If you don't have text, you don't have people to service the customers. And it's wow. something you don't think about when you're a plumber and you go and start your own business, right? You think, well, I'm going to do plumbing. Plumbing's what I do. It's the last thing you do, right? It's right. just, it's not what Richard says all the time. It ain't about plumbing. It's about recruiting and marketing. So, yeah. Uh, Again, till the day you sell the business they, or the day you die. Do. <laughs> that's what you're doing. You're just, and that's the kind of thing. So how, how are you dealing with that emotion, Brandon? Like, we, we, we deal with this. Uh, you know, I'm a plumber. And Brandon, I'm a plumber. I'm a, I mean, I see myself, I, I don't see myself as a plumber anymore because I've trained myself. I'm a CEO but and that, the things we talk about, your history. but my, I'm a plumber, right? Mm-hmm. It's where I come from. Right. And so early on when I was starting, how, how'd you deal with the transition of, well, this is, I'm a tradesman and I'm a proud tradesman. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of what I do, sure. but to realize I'm not that anymore and start thinking, well, I'm a recruiting, I own a recruiting company. I own a, a marketing I'm a company. I'm a CEO. Mm-hmm. How did you deal with that, that yeah, transition? Make that transition. I'm not going to sit there and make something up. It's very hard. It is. It's very, <laughs> very hard for me. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when I see somebody else doing what I like to do, it, it, it motivates me to teach them, be- to teach them, like to actually teach them. But it's very hard. That's the one of the things that I'm really struggling with, taking myself out of it. Mm. Well, But and, I'm getting there, though. Yes, and Good. Bo is going to help you with that for sure. Your coach is definitely going to help you. Um, to, to grow so that you can be removed from it. And you'll find that once you're, you're out of the truck, you know, and you're, you're pretty much, you know, you've got your, your two or three guys and you're out of the truck, um, you will feel less and let you'll, you won't feel that much anymore about right. wanting to train plumbing or whatever, because your mind is now on creating. And you already said, um, I knew I wanted to start a business. I mean, businesses. So I mean, that's already your mindset, right? So right now, because you're in the plumbing, you're the, because you're the one doing it, it's, it's two different hats, right? Which is tough. Mm-hmm. You're, you're exactly right. Yeah. I mean, you said it's a bit of a struggle. It's tough to go from plumber going to do the job, putting that hat on, and then changing over to CEO and marketer and recruiter and all that. That is a tough transition. But I will tell you, and we've seen this from experience, the ones that can figure it out and don't give up, they succeed. Right. It they doesn't. Do. It doesn't matter how much money you have when you're or or who your how family young you are, your how age, old you, are. you know where you live, you know what your race is, what your religion is, whatever demographic. You know they put they put on us out there. It doesn't matter. We see it time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. Yes. Those who get in and just don't quit with it with the attitude with that of attitude, win. You win. Right. There, there's no doubt, Brandon, right. that you guys are going to win. There's just no doubt about it. Right. With with the attitude that you've got. Because that's, and that's, that's why I wanted. That's why I wanted our, <laughs> our viewers and listeners to meet you. Because uh-huh. when we talked, I love to pick up that, right. that quiet. He's a quiet. You can tell Brandon's just a kind Quieter of a guy. quiet guy. Mm-hmm. You but know, quiet strength. Right. It's, it's but strength. strength. You can right. feel the strength mm-hmm. underneath there. Yeah. So that's that's the other reason we wanted to to have you on. We you know you've not got a plumbing company that's you know 15 trucks and you know multi million. Yet, yet. <laughs> right? Um, but to, so you can, others can relate to you, right? That you've got the vision and, and the dream. And there are a lot of, you know, our, our listeners and watchers that are just like you. And like, man, can I do it? Can I really do it? Can I go out and burn the ships? Learn from Brandon. Yep. Yep. Just do it. So love that. Yeah, love it's going to be fun watching you, Brandon. And we're watching. Yep. All right. Watching sure. the company grow. It's going to be really <laughs> fun. Love, for sure. Love it. Mm-hmm. So Brandon, now knowing who you're talking to here, mm-hmm. all right, and again, Guys like you that may haven't started yet or are thinking about it or they're in, you know, they're in the championship rounds fighting <laughs> and you know what that means, yeah. okay? Well, what's a word of encouragement or advice or wisdom that, that you could share with them? That's good. I would say if you, if you find yourself in your business and you're looking, I'll say if you're looking for the, I'll say two things. First, I'll say, Get coaching. Don't try to do this alone. Yes, a lot of us can, we can figure it out. We can figure it out and get to a certain level. But sometimes having that structure will help you so much better. I wish, I feel, I, if I can go back and start real live coaching with somebody who's been in the same position as me, I would be way further ahead than I am now. 
So that's that's the one nugget I would say as far as that. And I would say, don't jump. As being a business owner, you I I know like me, I'm really passionate with plumbing. And as being a business owner, you want to you always see the latest and greatest tool or the latest and greatest technique or thing going on. Don't 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 jump into it. Do your research. Know your demographic. Know your right customer. Because you can spend, a, it'll save you a lot of time from spending a lot of money on something that you can't even market or that's oversaturated in your industry because you jumped in too late. Mm. So I'll say just. No, that's good. Brandon, mm-hmm. that, guys, that, that's a huge nugget of gold that Brandon just laid down there mm-hmm. was just about um, just don't jump. Right. Just don't jump. Mm-hmm. Focus on what you're doing. Right. Do it very well. And then these other shiny, I love, I love how you put it, Brandon. You see something shiny, the new, the new greatest product, the new greatest <laughs> way to do whatever. You know, do your research. Just don't jump right, right. away. That's yep. a huge mistake we see a lot of guys do. Yep. And so here's someone's in the ring, mm-hmm. in the championship rounds, getting it done. Mm-hmm. You know, great, great. It's the attitude. Again, yeah. you guys that are watching, they're maybe thinking about, should I start my own, own business? The answer is yes, if you've got an attitude like Brandon. Yes. And you'll win. So simple as that. Oh, man. Thank you, Brandon, for being on and being so transparent and sharing. Mm -hmm. Um, You brought a lot. Mm -hmm. And, guys, go back. Go back and listen to this this interview here. All right? Mm -hmm. And listen to what Brandon was saying and and pick up on what he's laying down. Right. um, Because this is how winning is done. Absolutely. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Hey, it's good seeing you. We look forward to seeing you again. I'm sure we'll we'll, we'll run into each other very soon. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Brandon. I appreciate you both. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll see you guys later. All right. All right take take care. care. Bye-bye. All right. I just love that guy. <laughs> I know. You know. He's a quiet guy, right? Quiet guy, but quiet strength. That's that's what I love. And he's a, a big guy. He is a big and guy. We wife, met him in his, person. His lovely wife. Is it's a, a dinky wife. little thing. Right. She's, she's so, a, they're so fun to see them. Size. But we got, to, we got to meet them in person. <laughs> and uh, it's just, you could feel his strength. Yeah. You know, and he's just this friendly, big bear of a guy. Yeah. All right. But his <laughs> attitude, and when I just would listen to him speak and what, how he's talking about things and going after things. And uh, it's just as you heard in the, in the interview there, you know, we mentioned, you know, by, by 35, I was going to do this and right. that, you know. That's what I love. He set an, a tangible goal to reach. Not someday I want to have a successful plumbing business, right? He said by 35, by the age of 35, he, so he can measure it, I'm going to have my own business. And then he beat it, right? So right. we talk about it all the time. Once you start focusing on something um, and, and you think about that, that's that's where you're drawn to. That's where you'll lead. That's what that's what to. happens, right? Exactly. It, it just it works out that way. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you throw the in with the open attitude, the learning attitude. Yes. Not that this is you know poor me or this they did this to me or mm-hmm. I just don't get this break or that kind of thing. Right. He just it was that I'm I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna learn what I can learn. Right. And he put in his he made his own effort too. So he's working a job during the day. Right. Which come on, man. We we know you're doing that kind of hard work. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's cold and that kind of thing. And now it's dark on the way home, but you're not going home. Right. You're going into your job or you're trying to build At your business, year, which you're tired. Right. And, and that's, that's, that's how winning is done. Well, he's already, that, he's already a winner. Yes. But he, they're going to win big. That's being a man. Right. That's just being a man. So well, anyway, awesome as, but, episode. Um, thanks so much to Brandon for being on the show. Um, but if you want to learn more about, uh, you know, the kind of things we're talking about here or just, you know, um, you know, the things that Brandon mentioned and, you know, he mentioned, he, he, yeah, he mentioned the success Academy and, and even, you know, private coaching, that kind of thing, mm-hmm. or just want to be pointed in the right direction. All right. We have a free strategy call for you. You can schedule a free strategy call with us. Go to the million dollar forward slash call C A L L. Mm-hmm. All right. And schedule your free strategy call. No pressure, that kind of thing. You can learn. Uh, our, you know, our agenda is to, you know, we want to help you. At a minimum, get you pointed in the right direction. Absolutely. All right, so schedule your free strategy call. Okay. So there we go. Mm-hmm. All right, hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created. You were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.